you go back uh, to pre-settlement days and have a look at what uh, native vegetation cover was uh, in existence in the Golden Valley, we've got about 3% of that uh, remaining. What we're losing is the old stuff. Yes, you can replace trees with new vegetation, but it's not the same. We are losing trees that are 80 to 100, over 100 year old. They are just a nest of ecosystem services. The footprint of our irrigation district is changing. There's already cleared farm out there that can be utilised for a whole range of uh, development proposals. We're having new landholders um, coming in and, and I think there's a need to just constantly be um, communicating with farmers about the value of what they have on their property. Up until now that middle ground has been knock the tree over and then we'll replant. I don't, that is not sustainable, the replanting bit. It is a completely different dynamic, it's a different ecosystem. We're creating a different world by doing that. I think our first point has got to be how do we protect, enhance, value add, and how do we work with agricultural development to get both needs met. And we are at crisis point. So what we're really wanting to do is to make sure that we're all talking together um, and we're on the same page. So cows won't produce as much milk if they're trying to put all their energy into keeping cool and that goes also for keeping warm as well. Um, they won't put on as much fat, body fat, and they won't grow as fast. They do prefer the tree to the shed. The shed's better than nothing, certainly, but um, they do prefer the trees to the shed. If they get overheated, they'll stop eating and they're just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, there's certainly a loss in production from getting too hot. They self-germinate and they also have a limited life and this one we find here has had two great um, branches off it uh, have fallen down and it's come to the end of its life but surrounding it because we're able to fence it off are the new trees that it's been able to germinate that have taken root so the tree still lives on even though it's come to the end of its life as a grand old paddock tree it lives on in the new trees around it. To fence off those old um, remnant paddock trees that we have because we know that natural re regeneration is a really um, is the most successful way to see that those those old trees regenerate into the future and by fencing areas off around those trees we can protect them and see that natural regeneration occur. More and more we're recognising the value of, of paddock trees and we're also realising that we're losing them and we're losing them more of them than we're gaining in terms of regeneration and um, revegetation. It might be just seen as a simple tree to a lot of people, but you know, taking those natural assets off the landscape is actually impacting on our uh, traditional social uh, connectedness and values to our own selves and in our customs, laws and beliefs. First thing is that they give us life. Oxygen is really important to humans. So we can breathe in each time we breathe. They give shade for the animals and they give um, some animals like birds um, a habitat to live in. Some animals like birds could live up there and if you chop them down some lose their nest and their eggs could be up there and they could lose their babies. 